Two minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Our national debt now stands at more than $15.2 trillion. That amount exceeds the entire U.S. economy. Washington's reckless spending now burdens every child born in the U.S. with a $50,000 share of the national debt. If we don't do something about it now, we'll be the first generation in American history to leave our children worse, uh, a nation worse than we inherited. And our skyrocketing debt doesn't just affect our children and their future, it damages our economy and our unemployment rate today. It's a drag on the ec economy that fuels uncertainty. It hurts our credit rating, it slows economic growth, and it prevents job creation. When President Obama took office, he pledged to cut the deficit in half by 2012. After three years in office, has he, has he yet to introduce a credible plan to get our deficits under control? No. Instead, under his watch, the country has hit three of the highest deficits on record, and that's unacceptable. The national debt has grown by more than $4.6 trillion in his three years in office. We can't solve our debt problems until we address the root cause of this issue, and that's overspending here in Washington, D.C. In the House, we passed a budget that would put our country on the path to a balanced budget. The Senate didn't pass a budget. They didn't take up our own. They didn't take up our budget. They did nothing. We, pa we passed nearly $1 trillion in spending cuts, and we're planning to do more this year. The Senate, as I said, has not written a budget in nearly 1,000 days. If your family was trying to get out of the red, you would sit down at the table, figure out how much you're making, how much you're spending, and where you should cut back. The Senate refuses to do that. Think about that for a second. How on earth are we supposed to get our fiscal house in order if the Senate won't even write a budget? And why won't the Senate do their job? One word, politics. It's no wonder we have a 12% approval rating. Madam Speaker, it's time to cut up the credit cards here in Washington and stop spending money we don't have. The longer we wait, the harder it'll be to fix the mess that we're in. Putting our country on a responsible fiscal pass, pass is the only expired. way to restart the economy and ensure our children a prosperous future. Thank you, and I yield back. The